Hello, beloved. Shalom. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, all my family, friends, and sisters, and brothers in Christ. I love you with the heart of Christ. Um, shalom. God bless you all. I won't be before you guys that one long. I just want to share with you a vision that I have today concerning um, Japan. Hallelujah. Um, so, uh, nevertheless, I want to share this vision with, with you what I have about Japan. Um, according to um, Zechariah 12 and verse 3. Hallelujah. Um, I just want you guys to know that um, what I seen in the, in the spirit was a, a, a war that's um, raging um, coming up against uh, towards America um, that's coming from Japan. I saw a missile being um, shot out in the spirit. Hallelujah. And I'm going to explain the vision once I get through with uh, the reading. Okay. So the word is going to come from Zechariah uh, 12 and 13. I'm reading for the NIV version and it says, And it shall happen in that day that I will make Jerusalem a very heavy heavy stone for all peoples, all who will heed it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. So here God is the Lord is saying that you know that um towards the end of time, um according to the word, um that uh there are gonna be other nations, all nations are gonna come up against uh Jerusalem. But in this time, um and, and what we're talking about today is um he's showing me that Japan um is plotting um to come up against uh, America also as well. Um, if you read the scripture through another text, it says um, that uh, the the uh, the country will be in a, a removable rock for all nations, and, and who tries to move will injure themselves. So whoever tries to come up against uh, this country, the Lord is saying that you know they're going to be injured, uh, injured in the in the place of uh of it. Hallelujah. Now. As I was reading that scripture, I heard uh, Isaiah 14 and 21. All right. Isaiah 14 and 21. Hallelujah. Let's turn to that right quick. All right. And it says, prepare slaughter for his children because of the inequalities of their father, lest they rise up and possess the land and fill the face of the world with cities. Okay. So here the Lord is saying, because of the wickedness of Japan's forefathers and fathers, hallelujah, um, Yahweh is saying he's going uh, to prevent them uh, from rising up and taking possession of America, hallelujah. So nevertheless, I'm going to um, share this quick vision with you right quick, all right, so I had a vision um, today around 2.45 p.m. in the spirit, hallelujah, I seen a missile shot out um, first and then right behind the missile it said uh, Japan, um, also, uh, I saw on the missile, uh, it read Z64, which means, uh, 64, which means uh, a rate of 64,000 uh, miles per minute, all right? And the Lord led me to go um, into Hebrew Strongs and look up what the word Z means, okay? So Z uh, means a uh, sword or a weapon. So he was giving me confirmation, daughter, what you're seeing um, is, is accurate. So the weapon um, that they are uh, that they're sending is going to be uh, approximately about 6,400 uh, miles per minute, says the Lord. Right after that, um, missile i saw a second missile in the spirit that said z uh, 71 uh, so that tells me that, that that there's two weapons that are coming towards america hallelujah um um, you know, uh, here coming up soon, hallelujah, um, we also know that um, there's a third war that's uh, that's brewing up also as well. And I learned from uh, today that Trump has been spreading, uh, you know, speaking out uh, against about Koreans and, 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 uh, and, and Japan and China, hallelujah. And what's happening is in the spiritual realm, it's, it's waging a war, okay? It's, 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 like, it's like a war is it's raging up against this land, all right? But according to what we see here in Isaiah uh, 14 and 21, one, the Lord is saying that he's not going to allow uh, uh, the enemies uh, to take possession of the land. He's not going to allow them to either even uh, rise up because the word least means, uh, you know, to prevent. So he's going to prevent them from even rising up and taking position, I'm sorry, possession and position, you know, over this land, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, so what I felt led to share that with you guys, hallelujah, and I want to keep um, President Trump um, into prayer, uh, uh, also as long with the, uh, the whole entire your country of America, um, hallelujah, um, because there is a war that is coming that's brewing in the spirit, hallelujah. And I don't know if you guys remember back here in 2018 when I was, uh, when the Lord had used me to speak about Japan and China and uh, also Korea as well. Um, but today, like I said before, I mean, me just seeing that missile shot out in the spiritual realm. 
hallelujah, that tells me that they are plotting and planning uh, against America, um, even though nevertheless we know that the word of God is speaking about Jerusalem, hallelujah, but God is speaking about this time and this very moment. Um, and so when you think about President Trump, you know, I was always led to pray for him, um, you know, and I'm, and I'm still praying for President Trump um, in spite of what he has been saying and doing because that's what the Lord told me to do. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, we have to be uh, faithful and, 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 and honorable towards uh, the Lord. But keep him in prayer so he can, um, you know, uh, maybe change uh, some certain things, uh, ways of speaking. Also, definitely keep, um, you know, America um, into your um daily intercessor uh, intercessor and praying also as well because there is a third war that's coming up in the spirit and i believe in my heart that um you know that these people that are gathering against america will be coming from korea japan and also china says the lord hallelujah well i love you guys with the heart of christ and and as more more as the father gives me um, you know how the prophets do. I'm going to release it. I'm not going to hold it unless you tell me something different. But I want to share that with you as well. Um, and you can look at it on your own. You look up what the letter Z means, which was shocking to me. I find out in Hebrew, it means sword or weapon. All right. So that missile that I saw shot out in the spirit, the Lord was saying, daughter, you know, you, you're seeing it right. Uh, it, it is a weapon um, that's coming um, towards America. Hallelujah. So let's stay in prayer uh, for the whole entire entire country, um, nevertheless the whole entire world, hallelujah, and pray that the Father will wrap his arms around all of us during this end times, okay, hallelujah, I love you guys with the heart of Christ so much, shalom and God bless you and salam, amen.